We are so excited! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 facts about Love, Simon. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at fun facts related to the upcoming film Love, Simon, set to be released on March 16, 2018. Number 5. It's about a gay high school student. Do you ever feel weird? Weird? What makes the upcoming release of Love, Simon particularly exciting is its plot. The film, which stars Nick Robinson of Jurassic World fame as the titular protagonist, is about a closeted gay teen whose secret is jeopardized when his online relationship with a fellow student is discovered by an acquaintance. Nobody knows I'm gay. <sighs> Hollywood has slowly been getting more comfortable with portraying gay relationships in an honest, uncliched manner, and it would appear that this film is a step in the right direction. The fact that a major Hollywood studio is behind the teen romantic comedy drama adds to its allure, and could be a sign that Tinseltown is finally ready for more gay leads. No matter what, announcing who you are to the world is pretty terrifying. Number 4. It's based on a novel. Hi, my name is Becky Albertalli. I'm the author of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Penned by up-and-coming author Becky Albertalli, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda was released in 2015 and was quickly met with widespread acclaim. The film adaptation chose to shorten the title to something a little simpler, but so far, it appears that the novel's key themes have been reiterated in a way that was satisfying for everyone. In fact, Albertalli was invited to watch an early cut of the film and remarked that, quote, it's funny, and relevant, and timeless, and charming, and honest, and painful, and so romantic. It says exactly what I wanted the book to say. Hopefully that reassures fans of the novel that the film will be just as good. Have you ever been in love? I think so. Number 3. The production company is no stranger to teen dramas. Hey! I like your, your boots! It stands to reason that if you're planning on adapting a teen romance novel for the big screen, you'd want to know that the production company in question isn't testing the waters for the first time. Thankfully, Love, Simon is being produced by Temple Hill Entertainment, whose credits include The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns, The Maze Runner Trilogy, and all five Twilight films. Love, Simon's subject matter falls squarely into Temple Hill Entertainment's wheelhouse. So yeah, we have a strong feeling that they're gonna do an amazing job. Sometimes I think I'm destined to care so much about one person it nearly kills me. Me too. Number 2. The director has worked on everything. Greg Berlanti, the man tasked with directing Love, Simon, has essentially done it all. For the past 20 years, he's worked as a writer, producer, or both on some of television's biggest hits. He got his start as a writer and producer for a little show called Dawson's Creek. Maybe you've heard of it? Mm, maybe. His next gig was working as a writer and producer on Everwood, a show he also created. From this point on, it would be easier for us to list the shows he hasn't worked on as opposed to the ones he has. From Arrow and The Flash to Blindspot and Riverdale, Berlanti has been the driving force behind many of your favorite programs. It made me feel like I'd finally broken through to something real. Number one, the cast is awesome. We're good parents. If after our first four entries you still aren't totally psyched for Love, Simon, this should nudge you in the right direction. First off, Simon's friends include 13 Reasons Why's Catherine Langford and X-Men Apocalypse's Alexandra Shipp. His parents are played by a couple of Hollywood mainstays in Jennifer Garner and Josh Duhamel, which totally makes sense seeing as how their on-screen son is such a hottie. Oh, and Tony Hale of Arrested Development and Veep is playing one of his teachers. What more could you ask for? You're Blue. I'm just like you. Well, other than a glimpse of the actor who will be playing Blue, who incidentally was the last member of the cast to be announced. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.